Hi friends, today we are going to see the one of the statement from quantum chemistry. The eigen value of Hermitian operator is real. So any eigen value that are associated with any observable operators that have a constant value that is called as a eigen value. For example, A is an operator. A is any observable property that associated with this operator. That means if A is any observable property that associated with an operator A over it, this is the operator that corresponds to an eigen value A. This is the third postulates of quantum mechanics. That means if we have any observable property like kinetic energy, linear momentum, total energy etc so these are the any observables that we are used to use to measure the properties of the different microscopic particle if a is any observable that associated with this operator and that are having a one constant eigen value a if this is the situation then this follows this a operator that follows eigenvalue equation the eigenvalue equation is a operator psi which is equal to a psi this is equation number first here a operator it is a in uh, any observable operator psi is a eigen function a this small a is called as a eigen value and this psi is also called as a eigen function then in next step we are going to multiply this equation number one by psi star okay so psi star we can multiply by psi star and integrate over on the both sides so on the LHS side we integrate and multiply by psi star with the term a or to the term a operator psi which is d to which is equal to on this side the a is a eigen function and it is constant for this operator so a is a eigen function and it is constant that's why we write outside the integration then we write the integration and here then multiply by psi star the remaining term is the psi over the d2 this is equation number two here this term is also equal to a so psi psi star a operator psi t2 which is equal to a psi star psi d2 and this is the value of a this is the eigen value this is equation number one now we are going to take the complex conjugate of this so equation number one complex conjugate of equation number one is the a operator psi star psi star is the complex conjugate wave function of this psi so which is equal to a star psi star a star is the eigen value another eigen value of this complex conjugate equation so it is equation number four then we are multi we are going to multiply with psi and integrate on the both side now so integration multiply by this psi term to this term a operator psi star over the d2 which is equal to here on the right hand side this a star is the eigen value it is constant so right here outside the integration then multiplication factor is the psi and multiply with the psi star d2 and this is also equal to a star this is equation number 5 equation number 5 so the property of Hermitian operator is we know that the property of Hermitian operator if the RHS side the LHS side is equal then RHS side is also equal look observe the equation number 3 and 5 the LHS side this is the LHS side that are having integration integration psi star this is psi star a operator a operator dito dito that means the LHS side of equation number 3 and LHS side of equation number 5 these two are equal that's why the RHS sides are also equal the RHS side is the a and a star so that's why a which is equal to a star so here 
at the last we are getting that the eigen values that are constant that means a is equal to a star it indicates that the eigen value must be real if this is the case when we observe this case only when the eigen values are real okay so this case we observe here this case is observed only when the eigen values that are real that means the eigen values this eigen values that associated with this a operator a operator is the hermitian operator is real so 